How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you the email application and I want to just kind of go over the different buttons and how to read and write your emails. Um, just kind of give you a basic tutorial of what's what so you can uh, have fun sending your emails. So what you want to do is find the messages uh, application go ahead and tap on messages. And so now it will take you here. So the first thing I want to point out in the bottom, in the upper left corner, excuse me, you have this uh, icon that has the uh, at symbol on it. If you tap on there, it lets you jump to your different email accounts. So actually right now I'm on all, and what it'll do is it's actually synchronizing. It's showing me all the emails from all the accounts I have synced, but maybe I just want to see my HT Tech video emails. Then I would tap there and it would just show me those. Or I could tap on my now or now email, and then it will show those as well. So... Um, you can kind of separate them how you want and you know maybe you just need to see the emails from just that one specific application and that's kind of how you would separate it to jump from one to the other. So um, one of the, the parts I love about the email application is it separates everything by date. So I can see you know March 6th, March 4th, March 1st. So I can kind of see when all this stuff was sent. And I think that's a really cool feature. It just makes it easier to kind of see what's going on um, and, you know, it's nice to be able to say, oh, okay, that's, that's the day that that one came. Like, my iPad doesn't even do that. So, I like that this has that functionality. It's, you know, it's a small thing, but it makes a difference. So, um, one more time, um, let's see, if I go to now or now, if I go to that email, let's go to my Yahoo, my slow clap starter. So, I'm in this email right here, and let's say I want to send an email. Okay, I'm going to come to the bottom left corner and click on this little, it's a little envelope that has a little letter sticking out with a plus sign on it. Go ahead and tap on there, and this will set you up to write an email. Okay, so then I will just put in whatever the email address is, right at the top. I can CC people right there, uh, subject, and then I will just type my email here, and then if I want to send it, I'm going to tap on this icon right here in the upper right corner. Okay. So I'm going to send a mock email to myself right now. Put a little subject. This is Jeopardy. I was going to say this is a test, but Jeopardy sounded a little bit funner. Jeopardy. Come on. Can't spell Jeopardy. There we go. Yeah. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to come to the upper right corner and click on this little, uh, it's a little envelope with a little light air behind it, like showing it being sent, and just hit send, and bam, the email has been sent, and look how fast it showed up in my uh, inbox right there, okay? So now I can tap on it, and there it is, okay? And so, let's do this. I'm going to go to my now or now email account, and... It should be synchronizing. I don't think the email got there yet. That's all good. So we can look at one of the emails that are already in here right now. And so upper right corner, there's a little button that has the two arrows pointing in opposite directions. This is how you stretch the email if you just want to read the email nice and big. And if we tap that again, it'll kind of give us that mailbox view so we can see what our other emails are. And then... You have some, some buttons here, so you have like a letter with an arrow pointing to the left. This is your reply button. If you tap here, it'll set you up to send a reply back to the person who sent you that email. And then you have, uh, an, you have a, a, excuse me, an envelope with two arrows on it. And if we tap on there, um, this is a reply all. So if more than, if the email... Maybe it was sent to a bunch of people when you hit reply all, it'll reply it back to everybody that the email was sent to. Um, this option right here is an envelope and the arrow is pointing to the right. And this is forward. So if you need to forward the email to someone else, it takes you to here where you can put in their email and then you can send your own little note. And then you have the other part of the email at the bottom right here. And then let's say you change your mind, you don't want to do that upper left corner, click on this uh, X right here and that's gone. Okay. You can also flag the email. So maybe you want to flag it as important. When you press the flag button, it puts in a flag right here in the email and then also flags it over here in your mailbox as well. So you it might say, hey, let me go back and look at that later. 
okay tap on this icon right here and I wasn't sure what this does oh this I think it oh this actually marks it as a new email so you know how when you read an email um, it like makes it look white pretty much like it basically saying that it's already been read you can actually go in and make it so that um, it shows as being unread so maybe when you go back through your accounts again you can that email will pop out opposed to if it's red it'll just kind of blend in with all the other ones that are uh, in there so um, if you look right here when I press the button the envelope turns yellow and then it turns white so this is open unread okay and then this is folders right here you can actually take the email and you can put it into one of your folders to save it or archive it so that's cool you have access to all that information right there and you also have a search option so when we hit search you can actually type in some keywords maybe if you're trying to go through your emails and find a specific one you had in there you would type it in and it would uh, it would search for you just type in the type in CF and then it just kind of narrows it down these email accounts I'm using don't have too many um, emails in them so there's not much to search but you know that's just how it is uh, you also have this option right here. It says external images are not loaded. If you click on get images, like if someone sends you an email that has pictures in it, you can hit the option to get the you know the pictures to pop up or not. Because maybe it's an email. This is a quick read. Maybe you don't need to see what pictures are in it. So it gives you the option to say, okay, get images. And so like when I pressed that, YouTube showed up, but before it wasn't putting that image. So. Um, that's about it. This is the email application. And remember, um, up here, or when you click on the at symbol right here, this is how you have access to different accounts. And if you want to add a new email account to it, you can just go ahead and hit add account, and it'll actually throw you right into settings. And this is where you will synchronize uh, your other emails. So, this has been just the basics on using the email application on the BlackBerry Playbook. Hope it was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And subscribe to my channel, H2 Tech Videos. And have a good one.